Jeremy okay. Piven, it is great to see you. So uh, I know you've got shows coming up in Houston Friday and Saturday night at the Improv. We're going to get to the details in just a moment. But um, how has the past year, like during COVID production, how has that affected you? Um, yeah, I mean, productions are down. They're shooting about 20% of, uh, of films right now. Um, so I've been, I've been touring, doing stand-up comedy. Uh, you perform wherever you can. I've been performing at drive-in movie theaters, uh, 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 performing for cars, being heckled by Kia Sorrentos. <laughs> uh, it's been awkward, but I love it. Being heckled. <laughs> Come on. Listen, I know stand-up is, um, it requires a, a, a very specific degree of talent. And in looking through your credit list, Jeremy, obviously people know you from Entourage, Mr. Selfridge. My mom is a huge fan of yours. There you go. Old school, Black Hawk Down. What do you think it is mm -hmm. about you that has allowed you to have this, this broad appeal to a, a wide range of ages? Uh, I have no clue, um, probably because I'm incredibly vain. <laughs> Uh, and I, I, I don't, um, I don't think about every morning I wake up and I go, oh, wow, I'm really old. Um, let me do things that old people do. Um, I don't know. I, I, you know, I've been lucky enough to, to, you know, grow up in Chicago and grow up on the stage. Uh, my mom has been my acting teacher since I was a kid. And, um, you just, I, I think, you know, it's, it's an honor to be able to perform and, you should not take that lightly and perform on your highest level. Put everything you have into it, and then the rest is out of your hands. Yeah, let go, right? So speaking of Chicago, so you are a Second City performer, right? So you grew up yes. doing improv is, is in your blood, and I feel like those skills, now that you're doing stand-up, Obviously, you have a long uh, credit list on the small screen and on the big screen. How does how does the stand up for you compare? Just describe to us that experience, because I know you made the joke about being heckled by those Kia Sorrentos. Uh, but there's got to be a different kind of energy that you're able to get from a live audience that you don't have when you're shooting a film. Completely. I mean, my my reference for performing is live. And as you mentioned, I grew up doing sketch comedy at Second City. So I've been writing on my feet and doing comedy my whole life. So this is the same engine, but a different gear. You're alone. Um, so it, the stakes are higher and it's up to you to navigate that space and make people laugh. And I kind of welcome that challenge and love it. The, the comment that I've gotten the most is people say, I had no idea you were this funny, which is one of those <laughs> interesting backhanded compliments where, where I'm thinking, well, I've been performing for a hundred years. Um, and and now finally you think I'm funny. So, you know, your ego gets hurt and then you realize that it, it's a great compliment that you've made them laugh for an hour. A, a great compliment, but I get the backhanded thing. They're like, normally uh, we just thought you were very boring. We didn't realize right. you were so funny. That's like when someone says, you know, I, you're surprisingly uh, not, uh, you know, a slightly attractive in person. <laughs> yeah. um, you're much no. better looking in person. Right, indeed. Thank you so much for that compliment. Okay, so Jeremy, you've talked a lot about your relationship with your mom. You just mentioned she's been your acting teacher. She's had a front row seat to your career. You've taken her to award shows. Can you describe to our viewers a little bit more just how important this relationship is in your life? Oh, I, I don't like my mom. <laughs> I don't know if you got the memo. No, I was just FaceTiming her last night, actually. Um, <laughs> No, I, I'm a mama's boy. I'm, uh, my mother, Joyce Piven, has been my acting teacher since I was eight years old. Um, and I talk about this on stage. Watch this transition. Uh, I'm going to be at the improv all weekend. And one of the things that I talk about is running lines with Joyce Piven. Um, so if you ever saw Entourage, everything I said is Ari Gold. I said to my mom's face. And she's a total pro. Um, you know, she never gets offended. She understands that it's a fictional character. And people want to say to me, how could you possibly say all those things to your mom's face? And she totally gets it. Uh, she's an artist herself. And so, I don't know, she's she's a great woman. And I'm, I'm lucky to have her in my life. And, and she just got her second vaccine shot. So I'm excited to see her and someday possibly give her a hug again. Oh my gosh, dude, I know exactly the feeling. My mother, who lives in Salt Lake City, Utah, Bobby Sharon Shore, she is awaiting her second vaccine. I haven't seen her in more than a year, so I'm right there with you.
Yeah, man, it's it's insanity. I wish everyone, uh, you know, health and happiness, and and I think it's an essential service. By the way, I apologize for my camera work. This is a joke. It's we're at the point now where you guys are probably so sick of shaky cameras, <laughs> you probably can't wait to have people back into your. Uh, uh, into your studios. No, Jeremy, the fact that you have three Emmys, a Golden Globe, we can forgive your camera work a little bit because I'm pretty sure those wins were not for cinematography. Before we let you go, we <laughs> want to recap the info for your shows happening here in Houston. Yeah. Friday night, 7.30 and 9.45 p.m. Saturday night, 7 p.m. and 9.30 p.m. Jeremy Piven, it is great to see you and uh, please come to, to Studio B. Please visit us in Houston Life once the pandemic's over. I would love that. That would be amazing. We're, we're, you know, you'll have a much clearer shot. I'll put some makeup on uh, and I'll look like a human being. I'm excited. <laughs> okay, perfect. And I'll bring my mom and you can bring yours. How about that? Everybody wins. Everybody wins. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>